Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 742. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 740 752, click on the link directly below the video and scroll down to the uh, Excel Magic Trick section. Hey, I'm going to shoot this video in full screen. So that means you should probably uh, click the Maximize button if you can't see it clearly. Hey, we got here, we got some data, and we want to chart it, and we want to actually adjust and add word wrap to a label in a chart. So let's first chart this and see if we can do that. I'm going to go to insert uh, column this. If the default, my default chart is column and so I want the chart on this sheet so I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt F1. Ooh, That's kind of big. I'm controlling and rolling my mouse to zoom in and I'm going to point to the edge and click and drag. Drag it over here. Delete, delete. And what I want to do is I actually want to show this as January and the date and then word wrap and have the year below it. So uh, I don't know a good way to do that inside of here. So I'm going to come over here and add a new column. And it's going to have a formula in it using uh, an, a word wrap inside of a formula. Now first I want to put January 1 so I'm going to do the text function. The text function can take a serial number like this and format it however you want and I want to format it just showing the month and the day. So I'm going to in double quotes put MMM that's for the month. 1M will show me just the day. 3Ms will give me the abbreviation in letters space and then D just gives me the single day. Close double quote, close parentheses. So you can see that would give me that right there. Now I want to add a word wrap so I'm going to come here and I'm going to join. We have three things that are going into this formula. The uh, text for MM day, uh, we got to join to it a word wrap and then do text for just the year. Now ampersand shift 7 is the join symbol and to do a word wrap you have to use the character function and you have to know that character number 10 is word wrap. All right, and then we're going to ampersand and do text again. Text of Now I can't get to that cell reference right there. I could click and do down arrow. I'm going to try my arrow keys, the right arrow. Now notice my right arrow, my arrow keys are actually in the middle of the formula, going through the formula. So I have to hit the F2 key. And I actually should have showed you down here. Let me, let me show you. Right here it says edit down in this little corner right there. So now when I'm moving my uh, cursor. But now if I hit the F2, you can see it changed to enter. And that means now my arrow keys can search um, to get the cell reference. Comma, double quote year, 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 and double quote, close parentheses. Now when I hit enter, it won't look very good in the cell. And actually, uh, it should show up in the, the chart without it. But we can go ahead and uh, word wrap these. And then it automatically, uh, the formula shows it correctly. The word wrap is just on the surface. That character function, in fact, I'm going to control Z, control Z. And I think if I come over here, I need to go up to the chart tools, context sensitive, design, select data. I want to edit. So the sales right there, it's got all that data right there, but I want to come over and edit this. It's looking at the wrong one. I'm simply going to highlight that right there and then click OK. And so you can see that it's already working just fine. Now this text, this character, this trick here for word wrapping labels in a chart, there's lots of uses for it in, in histograms or whatever chart you have. You could have, uh, I, I've used the, this trick with a character, that's the formula version of word wrap, which the uh, charting engine will recognize and properly uh, word wrap in the uh, uh, axis here. All right, we'll see you next trick.